confidence vote. So many of you write to my office, you call my office, you leave questions and comments on the Facebook page saying we need a confidence vote. We need a confidence vote now. When are you guys gonna call a confidence vote? We need a confidence vote. This is what I get on my Facebook page, YouTube channel, Twitter, everywhere. So I just wanna tell you guys that we have confidence votes all the time and we had confidence votes last week. So I just wanna give you guys a quick primer on how confidence votes work and why the government didn't fall last week even though we had a confidence motion. So if you guys look up what a confidence vote is. A confidence vote is, especially in a, uh, a minority parliament, so a minority parliament means that no one party has a majority of seats in the House of Commons. That's what we're in right now. Justin Trudeau does not have a majority. So a confidence motion means that it's a question before the House on whether or not the House of Commons has confidence in the government. And the speech from the throne, the government's vision for the government like the country going forward that we, we've been debating all last week, the votes that we've been having on those have been confidence motions, at least one of them anyway. So, so we had a confidence vote last week, but we're not in an election. Why? So Justin Trudeau has a minority, there was a confidence vote, and we're not in an election. So what happened? Does anyone know? The NDP propped them up, the New Democrats, right? So the NDP voted with the Liberals. So they're essentially governing in coalition, right? Like there's not much difference between those two parties. They're both far left extreme parties. And just a sec. And so they're, they're, they're far left extreme parties. So the NDP propped up the government. So the government didn't fall. So we can have confidence motions day in and day out, but until we get a majority, the Conservative Party of Canada gets a majority, or let's say the, the NDP decides to topple the government, which they won't because they're broke and they have no electoral relevance right now, it, it doesn't matter, right? Well, it does matter. Like, I mean, it matters that we're having confidence votes and that we are trying to convince the Canadian public that we shouldn't have confidence in the government, but the people that you guys need to be putting pressure on are the NDP, right? So if you've got a friend who votes NDP or is a leftist, you need to ask them, just be like, why, why is your party supporting Justin Trudeau? Why did they vote in favor of the government? So for those of you who always write my office and leave comments here saying, we need a confidence motion. When are you guys gonna have a vote of confidence? We've had one, we, we have them. We just had one like three days ago. We had a confidence vote. And the NDP supports the Liberals, which means that the government doesn't fall and we don't go into an election. So I just wanna be very clear about that. We have confidence votes. They happen all the time, but the NDP, because they're electorally irrelevant and they are broke, they don't have the money to run a campaign right now by all accounts, that's what I'm hearing, that's the gossip. They aren't doing well in the polls. So they're trying to find fig leaves to cover, oh, they're like, well, you know, we negotiated this for the Canadian people. It's like, no, Jagmeet Singh, you actually just, if you went into an election right now, you'd get destroyed and that's why you don't wanna go. It's a political calculus calculation for them. So, so what the, the NDP are hoping is that somehow they can become more relevant, that they can go up in the polls and then the next time there's a confidence motion, then they would vote to topple the government. Or they might just govern with the Liberals like this for the next three more years. We don't know, right? Uh, the next fixed election date is approximately three years from now. So the Liberals could, in theory, govern that whole time as long as the NDP keeps propping them up on these confidence votes. So the next time you ask me, Michelle, we need a confidence motion. We need a confidence vote. Why, why aren't you guys doing a vote of non-confidence? We have them all the time. But the NDP vote with the Liberals, they vote with Justin Trudeau, it's like they are the Liberals, and they keep the government alive so that the government doesn't fall because they don't want to go to an election because they know that they're going to likely lose seats. So share this video with somebody who doesn't understand how a confidence motion works. Share this video with somebody who votes NDP to say, just be like, do you support Justin Trudeau? Then why is your MP supporting Justin Trudeau? Why aren't we going to an election? 
And that is how the system is working right now. It's very frustrating for me, as you can tell, because like I don't have confidence in Justin Trudeau. I, I, I think there's a lot of Canadians that don't have just in, confidence in Justin Trudeau. I, you know, I, I think that the speech from the throne was abysmal. I think it, um, it certainly didn't serve my constituents. Uh, and I've been fighting hard for them. They've been ramming bills, the Liberals have been ramming through bills through the House of Commons with no debate that spend, you know, billions upon billions upon hundreds of billions of dollars with no debate. So it's very frustrating for me. I did not vote in favor of the throne speech. When the last confidence motion, I said, nope, I do not have confidence in this, in this government, just to be very clear. But until the NDP decide that they're not Liberals, the government will cont continue to get through a confidence vote. So I hope that answers your many questions and I hope you share this video. Working hard for you in Ottawa. Have a great mm -hmm. day.